Hello, in this video I'm going to introduce you to differential equations and as usual I'll timestamp the different parts of the video so you can skip through to whatever part you want to see. And so we'll start off with well, what is a differential equation, right? So obviously a differential equation is an equation and it's one that has a derivative in it, so a derivative term, so for example a dy by dx, as well as a mixture of x's and y's, okay? And a very simple example of a differential equation might be dy by dx equals 2x, okay? That's a simple differential equation. Now, what are these used for? Well, they have tons of uses, okay? And it's a massive topic in maths, differential equations. So they can be used to model um, diseases, they can be used to model populations, they can be used to model economic situations. In physics, they're used all the time. They have tons of uses, okay? And you can go on to study second order differential equations, um, partial differential equations, loads of stuff like that. So they're really useful, okay? And so, right, say we are given this differential equation here, okay, sometimes you'll want to solve it, right? So when it comes to solving differential equations, we're not looking for a numerical solution like we would if I asked you to solve, say, 3x equals 2. Well, if you solve that, you would get that x is equal to 2 over 3, right? We're not looking for a solution like that. When we're solving a differential equation, we're looking for a a function, okay, that's going to solve it, okay? And it's going to be a function such that if we take its derivative, it's equal to, say, 2x. And so hopefully you already think, well, I know how to solve that, okay? I'm going to integrate 2x. And you're absolutely right, okay? We do what's called taking, like, the antiderivative for something like this. So we're going to look for a function such that if we differentiate it, we get an answer of 2x. And so we could find that function by saying, well, I'll integrate 2x with respect to x. And if we do that, we'll get a solution of x squared plus c, okay? And we call this solution, so y equals x squared plus c, we call this the general solution, okay? And the reason for that is because it's got this plus c. And so that value of c, this constant of integration, could be any number we wanted, right? And because, say, we set it equal to 1, and then we differentiate, we get 2x. If I set it equal to a million, differentiate, we get 2x. So there's infinitely many solutions, okay? And so we call it the general solution. Now, in some questions, you'll be asked to sketch, like, a family of solutions, okay? And to do that, what we're going to do is we'll take... Uh, a simple graph like this, we it just has to be a sketch. And I'm going to sketch a few different values of c on there. So say when c is equal to 0, well, we want to sketch y equals x squared. So it's going to look sort of something like that. What about when c is equal to 1? Well, we're going to get something that maybe looks more like this. What about when c is equal to negative 1? We get something like this. And this would be a family of solutions that I've kind of sketched down. Obviously, there are infinitely many, but I'm just going to sketch a few of them. So that is our general solution, right? So how do we find a particular solution, okay? And to do that, a question will have to give you what's called an initial value, right? And, it, and an example of that could be, okay, solve the differential equation, dy by dx equals 2x, and find the particular solution when, say, x equals 2 and y equals 5. So now how do I find the particular solution? That's the one solution that I want to find such that these initial values are met or like they work, okay? And so to do that, we're going to substitute x equals 2 and y equals 5 into our general solution. And if we do that, we get 5 is equal to 2 squared plus c. Rearranging for c, we get that c is equal to 1. And so we get the particular solution y is equal to x squared plus 1. Okay, and this will meet our initial values. Okay, so that now if I substitute in x equals 2 and y equals 5, well, we get 5 is equal to 2 squared, which is 4 plus 1. 5 equals 5, it works. Okay, and so to find a particular solution, you're going to have to be given initial values, for example, like that x equals 2 and y equals 5. And so I think that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully, it was useful. If it was, like, subscribe and share. Go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. Or you can go over to the uh, link in the description. There's a link to a playlist on differential equations where I cover separation of variables, integration um, factor, loads of other methods to solve differential equations. Thanks for watching.